Hi guys, just to test my Windows Movie Maker after the virus, I'm sure some of you guys have read my comments. I'm going to give you a little Christmas treat. I'm going to do an analysis of the first five minutes of Alien vs Predator Requiem. So I know some guys want me to do it. So obviously there's going to be some spoilers. It's up on YouTube so you can go and watch it. So uh, enjoy. The whole first five minutes basically consists of picking up after the first Alien vs Predator. You see the ship crash. The Fred Alien kicking some ass, um, some people getting face hugged, and then the elder predator, who can only assume is like some militia guy because he picks up the distress call and goes out to tackle what's happened on the ship. It's fairly cool. I mean, the aliens are in full kick ass mode. I mean, they kill the predators with ease, probably because it's a sneak attack. And you just get the feeling that it's going to be better than the first film, just instantly. The energy, the tone, everything is completely different. It's really, really quite remarkable how much of an improvement it is. But it does have its downsides. I got the feeling that it was rushed. The whole ship crash should be five minutes in itself, but in this it takes up one and a half minutes, it's really really quick and you don't really get to see much of what's going on, I mean you get the impression that there's a lot they're not showing so hopefully it'll be extended in the cinema and it'll take up a bit more time but it's still really really good compared to the first film. Um, the hunter guy getting his arm chopped off by the acid blood, he shoots a face hugger at point blank range and he gets acid all up his arm and his arm melts off it's cool, it's a cool concept, but the guy isn't like, oh my god, my arm is melting off. He's just like, ah, ah, and then he gets face hugged. And also the kid, I don't know about you, but if that was me, I'd be really freaked out and I'd want to run away, but he just kind of stands there and is like, oh, I wonder what's wrong with my dad until he gets face hugged. But I honestly think they should have thought about making the kid a slightly more childlike and making him run away to get help instead of just standing there so that wasn't so good however there were several really cool things about the first five minutes like the music at first it was a bit jarring but then you get ripped straight from predator and alien which was completely missing in the first film it's a direct link to the original films so that's really really cool hopefully they keep that up for the full film and make it less jarring also, the fact that we get to see the Predator homeworld for the first time, well, granted you don't get to see much of it, it's just really a big dust ball, but it's still quite cool, it's where the, um, the elder Predator sets out to rescue, or find out what's happened to the ship. That's really cool. Um, can't really comment on the acting, because there's really only two people in there. Special effects are good so far. Um, the blood's really cool, splatters quite nicely, and that's also quite an improvement over the first film, as I said previously. It looked like the blood was really fake, whereas in this it looks just about right. So, um, yeah. High hopes for the film so far. I mean, it could have improved on some stuff. The CGI is flawless. I'd say it looks a lot better, so 7 out of 10 so far. Obviously, I can't give it a full 10 out of 10 because I haven't seen the rest of the film. But hopefully, it'll be a lot better. Then, the first one, <laughs> as it's already indicated. So, um, what am I doing? Well, Revolutions will probably be up tomorrow, if this goes up. Fine. Um, I saw the new version of Halloween yesterday, which is why this wasn't up yesterday. That's a subject for a different review. Um, haven't really thought about what I'm going to do after The Matrix. I mean, by the time I finish that, I would have thought Requiem will be out. So, it will probably be my review of Requiem after The Matrix couple of requests for I Am Legend as well, so I'll definitely think about doing that. But other than that, it's still pretty up in the air, so any suggestions are welcome. So, high hopes for the film at the moment. It's looking good from the first five minutes. Bit crammed in. Uh, should be expanded on it a little bit, but yeah, it's pretty good. So, um, hope you guys enjoy Revolutions tomorrow. Hope you like this. Uh, take care.